Oh my gosh, their family tree is insane. There's so many people and there's so many floating babies. Whoa, what? I didn't even make them woohoo. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Royal Family. Actually, I was supposed to film my Legacy Challenge video today, but I decided not to. I'm probably just gonna take a small break from the Legacy Challenge series, just because I do wanna focus more on the Royal Family and the Dynasty series. And I also am going to be starting rehearsals pretty soon too, so I need to like just limit myself a little bit. Anyway, yeah, so I decided to do the Royal Family series today. And I actually, this one is kind of an impulsive video, but I had a few people ask in, I think the last video I posted or the one before that, they were asking me to do another Royal Family Tree video. So I thought that was a good idea, mostly because I went back to look at my Royal Family Tree video and I just was like cringing really hard just because like I was just talking so slow and there was just, I don't know, there was like a lot of pauses in between my words and I just, I was like, oh my gosh, I can totally do a better video than this. Also because we have so many more family now and so many more kids and babies and things happening so I just thought this one would be kind of necessary to do but yeah so before we begin today's video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications if you're super excited to see another royal family tree video then give this video a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and play the royal family all right oh it's raining a lot okay so I'm actually starting at the Willow Creek royal family because in my other royal family video technically I started on the Windenburg royal family but then other people People were saying that they were curious about the other royal families which i thought i covered in the other video but it's fine i think we can just start with them so i am going to cover like all of them pretty much and if it's it's also just like interesting because well, there'll be so many new sims and connections that we're seeing too and of course now we have like a king with a lot of bastard children and stuff so It'll just be interesting. And I think the last time I started from like the the oldest sim, so like the first generations to the newest generations, I am, I think I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna start from our newest sim, so the ones who are alive back to the older generations. So I think it'll be interesting. Okay, so we're gonna start with the family tree. So that's pretty much all I'm gonna do in this episode is the family tree, just so you guys know. I know it takes a second to get sims to load and such. Yeah, no, okay, so they'll show up eventually, I guess. So their family tree, the will Willow Creek family tree is not as big. I think you have to see it from like the first, okay. I think you have to see it from the first king and queen. So I lied. I think we are gonna start from the ancestors first just because otherwise then you can't see everyone. Cause well, I don't know if I go to him, I guess other people show up, but it just gets a little bit more confusing. So yeah, I, I, I think we're gonna start from like the, start from the top down. So let's see, where did our Willow Creek royal family go? Are they the first ones? I think they are. Yep. Oh my goodness gracious guys. It's Oh no, and there's floating children. There are a lot of floating babies. So we're starting with the royal fam the royal family of Willow Creek. So our very first Sims, and of course it's not showing up. It will, it will eventually, it'll load, I'm pretty sure. And I, I forgot his name too, but hopefully it'll come up in just a little bit. So we first started with Queen Lilia of Willow Creek. So she was married to, I'm pretty sure it was like, King Edward or something like that. They were the very first king and queen of Willow Creek. And all the other kingdoms are a generation behind the Windenburg royal family because the Windenburg royal family were like the very first ones. So they're like the oldest kingdom, which is why they're like very, very famous and very well known because they are the very first kingdom. So we're just like one generation lower than the Windenburg family, if that makes sense. Okay, so Queen Lilia and King I really hope it's King Edward, otherwise this is a problem. But they were the very first king and queen, so they had three children. They had Princess Elena Willow, and they had King Hans Willow, who was obviously Prince Hans. And then we had Princess Jane, who ended up being a Windenburg. So they had three kids. This was back when the eldest son was the heir to the throne. From now on, like right now in Windenburg, technically the oldest son is also the heir to the throne. But I think that's gonna change once Prince Kellen becomes king. I think he wants to change that rule. So they had King Hans. So King Hans then had two boys. He had, he had Prince Neil and Prince William. So then the and then William ended up being the king. I guess he was the oldest. And then Duke Neil. So then King William, he was the oh I guess I don't have to click on everyone. I thought I did, but I guess I don't. So so King William he was the the he became king and he got married to I do have to click on them because I do have to see who they ended up getting married to. But 
He got married to Queen Emily. Queen Emily was a Windenburg, and then she ended up becoming Queen of Willow Creek. So then they had three children. They had King Derek, which you guys know, King Derek and Baroness Jane, and then Countess Julia. So they had three kids, one boy, two girls. And you guys have known King Derek. So he was Queen Alice's father and King Edmund, and then he had a bastard child, Lady Tierra of Windenburg. So he had three kids. These two were were the were born into royalty. Then they had three children, which you guys know, the triplets, Princess Belle, and then Prince Jack, and then Prince Louis. So I hope that was not too confusing because I was a little bit confused while reading that. So that is our Willow Creek royal family. And then we're going to skip then to the Oasis Springs royal family. So for them, oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. This is insane. And we get to see the very first king and queen of Oasis Springs here. So King Cash and Queen Queen Cara, so they were the very first king and queen of Oasis Springs. So they were, they are in the same, they have as many generations or as many ancestors, I don't know if that's what it's called, but they have as many generations as the Willow Creek Royal family does because they were founded around the same time and they had three children. So they had Queen Ilsa, or this was Princess Ilsa. I guess I'm just gonna not say their titles because they all got married, so it all ended up changing. So they had Ilsa and Amina and Jared. So they had three kids and the and Elsa became Queen of Windenburg and Amina um, became the Duchess of Oasis Springs and then Jared became the King of Oasis Springs. So King Jared, he ended up marrying Queen Irina. So where did Queen Irina come from? She doesn't really have any, it looks like she doesn't have any ancestors, so that's kind of interesting, but they had four kids. So they had King Sahar, or they had Sahar, I'm just gonna say their first names. They had Sahar and Amaya, and then they had Gia and Avita. Ooh, I like these names. So they had four children. They have a, a lot of royal families have like mostly girls, like a lot of girls. It's so interesting. I think some of them have like two boys, but like most of the time they have more girls. But, so they had four kids and then Sahar ended up becoming king. I actually really like that name. Maybe I'll name like the next boy or the next prince of Oasis Springs, Sahar, because I really like that name. So they had Sahar who became king and then Amaya became Marquis of Windenburg. And then we had Gia become the Marquis of Oasis Springs. And then Avita became the Baroness of Oasis Springs. So they had their four kids. And then we had King Sahar take over the throne. So he married Queen Ella, who looks like she was from Willow Creek. So she was the daughter of a Duke and Duchess in Willow Creek. So he married Queen Ella and they had two kids. They had King Easton, who you guys knew. And then they had Elena, who ended up becoming the Queen of Wind, of not Windenburg, of Willow Creek. So they had their two kids. And yeah, it was kind of interesting. Sometimes like the generations will go from like four kids and then only two kids and some of the other ones. I haven't really had anyone have more than four kids just because it's a lot of kids, but maybe in the future. I don't know. There's so many Sims we have to keep track of. So it's kind of interesting. So they had four kids and then, or I'm sorry, they had two kids. What am I saying? Two kids. And then as you guys know that they had Jared and Adrian. So King Jared, he uh, became the king of Brindleton Bay and he's the very first king of Brindleton Bay. So he ended up found, founding, he, with the help of his uncle of Windenburg, he was the king of Windenburg, his uncle, King George, he founded Brindleton Bay. And then we had Adrian, who is the second son. He be ended up becoming king and take, not taking over the throne because he didn't really force like his brother to to leave or anything like that, but he was actually really close with his brother, but he ended up becoming king and marrying Queen Lindsay. And King Adrian's interesting because he has so many, whoa, what? Guys, Prince Michael has a son? What did that happen? Oh, what, whoa, 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 wait, what? With Lady Helena, guys, they're teenagers. They are teenagers. I do not have the mod to where teenagers can be, pre at least I don't think I do. I don't have the mod where teenagers can be pregnant and they have a son? I didn't even make them who? Oh my gosh, the MC Command Center, I don't think this is because of that, because they, the, like I have the zero percentage of, of random pregnancies on. Oh my God, you guys. What? Is this because of the risky woohoo? Does that like work on teenagers or something? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> guys, what did we do? Because Prince Michael's a teenager, so we can't like 
I don't have the mod to where he can get married as a teenager. But I, I, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God. <gasps> Do you guys think that the King and Queen of Oasis Springs would like make the baby move in with them? Because it's their first grandchild. Like that is their very first grandchild. I feel like they'd be very protective. And that's like their youngest son too. All right, you guys are gonna tell me what you think we should do because oh my God. Okay, I'm sorry. Too, there's too much happening in my brain right now. I'm gonna move past this. I'm gonna pretend like I am not thinking about this even though I am. Okay, so they, anyway, okay. So the, as you guys know, they have their four kids of Oasis Springs. So they have Nea who is the eldest and she's actually the heir to the throne because now we are making our kingdoms very modern and whoever is the oldest child, whether they are a boy or a girl, they are going to become the heir to the throne. So Princess Nea and then Prince Francis or Prince Francisco, that's his real name. And then Meghan and Michael, who apparently had a baby out of wedlock. And then of course, King Adrian is our definitely most wild king because I don't think any other king or queen has had as many bastard children as he has. He's got four and apparently one of them is a pair of floating legs, but he has four bastard children. So he has Lady Charlotte and I need to change her last. Well, I don't know if I need to change her last name because her mother, Harmony, got banished. So I and then you got no one ever told me if they thought that I should keep it as Lady Charlotte because technically she is like the king's daughter. So I didn't know if we should keep that or not. But yeah, you guys let me know. And then Lord Benjamin and Lady Cara. So they are the, the oh gosh, they are their twins. So their mother is Duchess Blair. And then we have oh gosh, this is just too confusing. And then we have our pair of floating legs, Lady Isadora. So her mother is Duchess which is Jillian of Willow Creek. And she's like brand new. She's the youngest one, even though they're all pretty much around the same age. But of course, Queen Lindsay still doesn't know about this, but I feel like she's definitely speculating things and she's hearing rumors. And I think by these rumors, she's gonna find out soon, for sure. And I don't know if she like thinks she should do anything because dessert, or dessert, what? Because divorce really is not that much of an option for them here. So we'll just have to see what she ends up doing. Whoa, 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 wait. It says Queen Lindsay is Lady Isadora's stepmother. Oh, so you can see who your stepmother is. Oh, and then that's her stepfather. Can you see like, okay, half sister, half brother. I wonder if you could see step, step siblings, like stepsister, stepbrother. I, I thought you couldn't, but I think we'll have to see. Cause I think that was like what I wanted to focus on in the Dynasty series. I wanted to see that like they had stepbrothers and stepsisters, but I, I, it wasn't showing up. So anyway, okay, that's interesting. Okay, so yeah, so that is the Oasis Springs royal family. There is like, wait, Lord Andrew, he's like, he's a toddler too. Wait, did I name him? Oh my God, I did. Oh, okay, so I had seen that that this family's household, that the, what are they? The Earl of Willow Creek, I had seen that they had had a baby and I assumed that I didn't know if I had made Countess Olivia and the Earl or an Earl Peter, I wasn't sure if I had made them have another baby or something again. I was just a little bit confused. So I, I did, I went in and I changed his name because I it was like a random name and I like added the title and everything, but I just, I didn't check I assumed it wasn't any of the girls girls kids because they're both teenagers. So I am now seeing that that is Lady Helena's son. Oh my gosh. <gasps> and Princess May had a crush on Prince Michael too. And little does she know that he has a child. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Okay, anyway, all right. I, I'm not gonna go through the Brindleton Bay royal family because it's only, I mean like, I'll, I'll just show you real quick because there's no history. It's like the same as Oasis Springs basically is the history I'm trying to find, yeah. Okay, so yeah, like King Jared, all of the history is is the same as like King Adrian's because Queen Nina, she had like her two parents, but they passed away, but like their their ancestry doesn't go back very far. So yeah, there's really no point in seeing any of this, but oh yeah, and then of course you guys know that they had Prince James and Prince Johan. Why don't they make the oldest first on the family tree? That kind of bothers me because then it's hard to tell who was the oldest and stuff. So I don't really like that. I wish they would change that. But anyway, okay. So I know you guys have seen the Windenburg Royal Family. I hope you guys are following. I'm so sorry. This is so confusing and I wish there was a way to make it easier and I wish there was a way to like explain all of this on like the website that I'm making with like the descriptions of the royal family but I can't I can't even take like like you can't zoom in or out in the family tree this and also you can't make this window bigger can you yeah you can't which kind of stinks like I wish I could do a full screen mode of this or something but yeah you can't really see that much so I can't take like a picture or anything like that and it would take way too long to recreate recreate 
this royal family. And I didn't know if you guys wanted to like see the whole like nobles and everything too, but it just, it would be a little complicated. So yeah, sorry guys, but this is about as much as I can do for this. So we'll go ahead to the royal family of, of not Willow Creek, of Windenburg. So I am, and I've said, I said this so long ago, I am working on a history of a Windenburg video so you guys can see the story of Queen Ravenna because she was the evil queen. Technically, I can't even explain this, but she was married to King Henry, who was the very first king of Windenburg, and then she ended up like remarrying, and then that's where the other kids came from. So it's a little bit confusing, but I will explain that in my history of Windenburg Royal in my history of Windenburg video. I'm still it's it's taking way longer than I thought it would. I did not think it would take so long, but like I'm trying to get like shots of everything because it's like kind of like a film, like a short film, and I'm really, really excited. So yeah, I am a very I'm hoping to have that done by the end of the summer. I mean like, yeah, it's just, it's taking really long. So sorry about that guys, but I will get that done soon. So what you guys can see, oh my gosh, their family tree is insane. It is definitely the biggest one out of everything. <laughs> it is so, so crazy. I wish you could also see like who their mother and father was because I would like to just show you everyone from like here, but like everyone is related though. Like it's real, like as you can see, pretty much everyone is related. There's so many people and there's so many floating babies too. Why are they all like that? All of them are floating babies. And then as you can see, like there's so many, like a lot of second cousins married, you guys. As you can see, and I know that's weird, but it happened in royal family because you want to keep it in the family. So there's just a lot, a lot, a lot of, of second cousins bearing. So that's why you see like a repeat of a lot of the children. I don't know why Lady Isadora is here, but then like also all the way over here. Like why made her, why I'm like pointing at my computer screen, like you can see my finger or something. But why is she all the way over here? Like, why can't we just move her slightly over? She seems so far away. Maybe that's like her being banished on the family tree or something. I don't know. This is just, they're so, so much happening. I don't even know where to start. I just like, I'm just like showing this to you guys so you can just see it because it's actually crazy. But I think we're gonna start from the top and then make our way down. So as you guys can see, we had Queen Ravenna and technically King Arthur, but also King Henry. Just imagine that he's there. I don't know why he's deleted from my family tree, but they were the very first king and queen of Windenburg. They're, they are the oldest kingdom. So their genealogy is just huge. They have so, as you can see, so many, so many tears. So then they had their three kids. So they had Prince Derek, they had Princess Belle, and they had King Henry. And I'm pretty sure this was before I changed their names when they would become like Duke and Duchess or just like get another title. I'm pretty sure I was like originally keeping their prince and princess names because technically they are still prince and princess. It was just easier to see like in history, like what they ended up like change, not changing into, but what they ended up becoming. So I, this is like before I kept all that, but I can see like who, who she married. So she, oh, she married the prince of, oh yeah. Okay. This is pointless. I was like, oh, well then I can see who she married and like find out what her her title was from there, but that was before I had like any titles at all. And I'm so sorry this is confusing. I did have someone comment saying that they didn't know really much about the nobles or or like anything about a duke or duchess or anything like that. I honestly can't explain it. The only thing I can explain is that like there's the king and queen, which are like the rulers of the kingdom. And then you have noble people who have either been given the title or have been born into the title. So there's duke and then their wives would be duchesses. There's like counts and countesses. There's earls and countesses and like, Marquis and it's just it's a lot and I, the only thing I could say is I would probably look it up and search it on Google because they're gonna explain it way better than I ever could. So yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, so they had their three children and then of course King Henry II, so he had three children as well. He had Mara and Kellen, the, which is King Kellen I, and John. So they had three kids. Kellen was the oldest. John and him, I remember, didn't get along very well and I'm pretty sure John tried to like overthrow him a bit. But he ended up marrying, ooh, yeah. So he ended up having two kids. That was his brother, John. And then King Kellen, so he had two kids. He had Emily and King Henry the third. So I'm gonna click on them so you guys can see too. So King Kellen, he ended up marrying the princess of Oasis Springs, Queen Ilsa. And then they had two kids. So they had Henry the third and Emily. And then King Henry the third, he was, he took over the throne and not took over the throne, but he inherited 
inherited the throne? He was the heir to the throne. So he became king. So then he married Ezra of Windenburg, who was, it doesn't look like she was a princess. So it looks like she was like a, just a noble. Um, but then she ended up becoming queen. So that was Ezra. And then they had four children. And these children, you guys, I remember them looking like, like King Henry, he looked like he, like very much the, the, fe the features of the Oasis Springs descendants. So then it was so interesting because I think, King, yeah, King George ended up with, like, blonde hair, but then his sister, Queen Arya, looked like she, like, was from Oasis Springs so much, and then she actually ended up becoming the Queen of Oasis Springs, and I think that was what the her mother-in-law and father-in-law had favored was because of her features that she looked like she should be the king, the queen of voices springs it was very like picky back then so then they had uh the two other sisters so mira and eliza so they had three yeah, that was my thing like mostly girls so three girls and one boy and then they had their four kids as you guys know king henry the fourth and then queen cora and marquis Anna, so, and then the, I have like a random glitch of another Princess Anna that's in my family tree that's been a child since like I did the last family tree and I just don't understand why. So yeah, so it, I don't know why she's there, but just ignore her, pretend she's not there. I'm just gonna like blurb her out or something. So they technically only had three kids. And then of course you guys know that they had a Princess Amira and Princess May and Prince Kellen. So that is our family tree and you guys can also see of course because queen cora she had like the triplets that we showed you guys that because she ended up becoming the queen of willow creek and then we had princess anna she has her three girls who are so so cute i love them so much i know this is very very confusing and i apologize i i hope this kind of like explains stuff to you guys i wish i could like give you access to my family tree because but like even with all of these second cousins marrying it just gets so much more confusing if you guys have any questions you can like comment below and I can like try to answer them as much as possible but at least you guys can like get a little bit of a feel for this so I hope this was helpful I kind of confused myself while explaining this so I hope I didn't confuse you guys too much it is very confusing and I know and I I, I wish I could explain it better I wish there was an easier way but not really there's not really so I hope you guys like this just a little like bonus episode um and then hopefully you like it better than my last one just like maybe don't watch the last one because like it's it's gotten really popular like it's the second most popular video on my channel and I think I only made it like three months ago but the difference of like my video just the the quality of it the the editing like the fact that I didn't have like a face cam or anything like that I was like watching it and I was like I can't watch this anymore it's just like I no I'm gonna make a new one and then hopefully this will replace the last one and hopefully it'll be a little bit more popular than the other one too but yeah okay so thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for being interested in my family tree because I'm glad you guys are I know it's very confusing as I've said a million times in this episode if you did like this give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video bye